Hi everybody, it is Saturday, December 15th. I'm actually recording this a day late, but it was Saturday, December 15th. Uh, had a exciting day uh, today, or Saturday. I got to see, uh, had my second appointment. Uh, it was my second evaluation for the surgery. So this one was actually with the surgeon and uh, it was at two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, the bummer about this was about a month ago, I promised my daughter I would take her to see Dita Von Teese in Los Angeles um, because she was having a release, uh, a, a, a signing for her latest perfume thing. My daughter loves her, uh, so uh, she is that, uh, she's a huge, huge fan, so I, I promised her that I would take her. Well, this was the only date I could schedule for the appointment without it getting pushed back to January, um, at least with the appointment for my doctor. So my wife uh, took my daughter instead, so they got to see her. They had a great time. It was awesome, I hear. I'm kind of bummed that I missed it because my, um, my daughter's really been inspired by her, and uh, it would have been great to see her. Uh, my daughter so incredibly happy. She was just bawling her head off because she was so happy. So. Uh, anytime you can, you know, get your kids that happy, it's a really good thing as a parent. So I didn't get to do that, but she still got to go, which is really cool. So mother and daughter got to bond and uh, even saw them in some photos posted online uh, that were taken by a newspaper, to, or a, not a newspaper, who reads newspapers anymore, uh, taken by this, uh, you know, one of these uh, websites that document all the latest and hip goings on, so... That was pretty cool for her, um, but I got to see my doctor, which was great. Um, everything went pretty well. Uh, the The biggest curveball uh, is that in the uh, ultrasound, turns out I have a gallstone, and uh, it's a big one. And they're gonna wanna they're recommending to take out the gallbladder when when they are in there to do the surgery. I was kind of hoping not to have to do that, but, um, you know, it is what it is, so it's kind of a bummer, but I guess I'll just lose a little bit of extra weight because I'll have one less part inside me, right? <laughs> so I guess that's the optimistic way of looking at it. Uh, my family history has, uh, I have two brothers, no, one brother, one sister, and my mom uh, had, they, they all had their gallbladder removed, so w we just were not really in, my brother was in good shape, you know, he was not overweight or anything, and uh, my sister was fairly healthy too, so, you know, I guess we just didn't have good genes for big, strong gallbladders. So mine is going to come out, and uh, so I guess it's good to get it out now instead of having it flare up later, because my wife had a gallbladder attack, um, she ultimately had it removed, but she was miserable. <clears throat> um, she had two attacks, and she just toughed out the first one, and then she finally gave in on the second one. She was totally miserable, so I'm glad I haven't gone through that. It does explain some of the indigestion I've had with certain types of food, you know, especially like foods with cheese or um, you know, like certain potato chips have just not agreed with me. Now I know why. Aside from it not being good food for you, it, uh, it's really not good for uh, an unhappy gallbladder. So there you go. Um, so everything else on my all my tests and all the different appointments I had looked good otherwise. The stress test showed that my heart was good, so I was really happy to hear that. I was really concerned about the heart not being in good shape. Um, the, my liver showed that it was fatty and that it was enlarged, but since I've been losing weight, that should be improving a little bit, um, so I, I guess that's a normal thing for people in our, you know, in our, this kind of shape is that your liver does not look the way normal liver does, but uh, hopefully that's getting better. And what else? Uh, oh, uh, on their scale, I've only lost about like 10 pounds since my first weigh in there. Um, I wore the lightest pair of shorts I could, the lightest t-shirt I could. Uh, just so that I would 
I even took my glasses off because I was really trying to get that number down as low as possible. Um, <clears throat> but the, the cool thing was that all the weight that came off was all uh, body fat. And uh, I would actually gain a half pound in muscle, which is great. It means the protein's working. It means the exercise is working. Um, I'm sure if I was doing more intense exercising, I'd probably be increasing my, maybe increasing my muscle mass a little bit more. But I, I was really happy to see all the weight coming off in the, in the fat. That's really good, in the body fat. So that's good stuff. Um, I think I told you last time, I do have the approval for the surgery. And uh, everything looked good to the doctor, uh, you know, at least is, you know, good. I guess that's a relative term. As far as surgery goes, everything looks good for surgery. So tomorrow morning I should get an idea when the surgery is going to be. It's going to be sometime, it could be December 26th, to December 29th or 30th, or maybe sooner if they have an opening sooner. But he, to quote the doctor, uh, I'm on the launching pad, I'm ready to go. So we'll just find out what the date's going to be. And uh, so it'll be happening sooner than later, um, which is, uh, it's great. It's a little scary, but it, it's uh, it's good. <laughs> I'm anxious to get this going. Um, I've been doing a lot of work towards it, so it's just kind of, you know, as you get closer and closer to it actually happening, it's, you know, it's nice seeing all of the, the effort and the work kind of coming together to, to see it start to happen, so that's good. Looking forward to that. I'm very, very psyched up and very pumped up. Very excited, very positive. I know yesterday, the other video, I was just kind of down. Um, I think everyone was that day, but life's too freaking short. Got to be happy. So, um, yeah, good things happening. So I'm just going to be continue to be very positive, and hopefully that spreads to other people. But uh, you know, thinking positive is it's more than half the battle, because if you think negative, Negative things are going to happen, so you got to think positive, be positive, and uh, the more you talk about positive things happen, you'll just start doing whatever you need to do to make those positive things happen. Just like if you talk about negative things happen or things not going your way or what the bad things could be, you know, you'll you'll make it come true either way. So you create your own reality. I'm I'm creating mine, and mine's going to be uh, successful. It's going to work out. I'm going to succeed at this, so um, it, it all starts with positivity. You can go this way, you can go that way. It's it's all up to you. Um, it's a choice. <laughs> it's totally a choice. So that's it. <sighs> Approved, ready to go. I'll find out tomorrow, or Sunday, uh, no, I'll find out Monday uh, morning what my surgery date's going to be. Um, and that's it. So that's my Saturday. We didn't walk Thursday night because of the rain. Um, and I got this cool new app on my phone to help uh, uh, track our walking, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'll share that with you next time. And that's it. I can't think of any anything else. It's a great day. Good, great day for the family. And uh, I'm very, very stoked. Very happy. So there you go. See you guys tomorrow, and hope you're having a great weekend. Bye.